really bad game. Uh, because like you kind of get ahead and keep the team ahead with the big heals and the saves, and then Marcy can also run down a game uh, with the rebounds and catches and it's kill after kill and slow cooldown. Now will it be a kill on Force Major up top though? Because we know he thunderbolted, but no, they're not gonna fully commit. Uh, even with the Arctic Burn and the Earth Shock, it's not enough to fully chase him down here. No, no, it's a little bit. Oh. Are they going to keep the pressure on, actually? Look at his right click. Get him, Zeus. They're strong. Fourth Major is going to get punched a couple of times. Ursa not as scary until he gets those Fury Swipes, but can still uh, do a nice little dance with the Taunt. Of course, our shock for uh, CS in our last city when he needs to. Um, mid lane, Todd, though. By the way, very important. Oh, I think. so good. How about Ursa? You know, it makes me want to play him support just so I can play more Ursa and try and pop him more. That's a good reason to play Dota, you know? Again, hey man, going back to our sure. theory. Yeah. yeah, the taunt, yeah, it's, it's all about. The theory of, uh, you know, sort of reveling in other people's sadness. The taunt fits well with that. Um, we've got to keep our eyes on how this next couple of minutes go here as a quick jaunt away by the press kit. But down bottom, we're seeing the Seneco, uh, the Hawk, constant pressure onto the two of them. And Heaven... Does he have a creep to get? It yeah, he's still, like... well, he's stealing the treants right now. Okay. So that, that's one of the that he's been trying to uh, take away some of the power of Dahawk in the lane. Mm. Just sort of chasing Seneca around that. I mean, obviously, you can do a lot of stuff. Just like, Nature's probably, you can try to like, block up camps and everything. But unfortunately, couldn't stop Seneca from body blocking his small camp while also stacking the big camp. So lots of creeps um, for all of them to work with now in that camp. Right. There's only one that you can take on the uh, at the moment. That's the little troll. Needs to get one more level before he can get the uh, pine cones. It's noticed. In trouble. This has been a constant frustrating matchup, I would say, of the Ursa against the Underlord. Um, and notice is going to have to pop the salve here. It can get a little bit testy for the Underlord. Yeah, I do like that about the Nature's Promise setup, is that you're able to do these uh, multiple, like, positions a lot more easily with this hero than other potential position ones. Like, it's not a big deal to go into the offlane for Nature's Prophet like this because you have the help of the Treant. So, giving uh, Notice a much safer place to farm. So you can imagine if Notice was in this offlane situation versus an Ursa and a Wyvern, there's nothing to do, right? Like, he needs the protection of his tower, or he's just going to get run down from the percent-based damage of the Arctic Burn and an Ursa. So it's very mm. important that you have a hero that lets you swap over like this. Yeah, totally. And that is kind of going to be the thing to watch for, is if they can put Notice into that position. And even just this little simple of Kuki also needs to be careful. Fourth Major is there, has a heavenly jump to get away, slow it down. Notice is looking for the final touch, and they get it. Fourth Major picks it up with the Lightning Bolt. That is a great hero to get first blood on. Yeah, and they still don't have good control over the lane either. Uh, as Notice has increased by the tower, it's going to hold the wave, the rain wave coming through, and... He's just going to keep firing by his tower, even though his Zeus is gone. So, so much free space for Notice right now. And Force Major, though. Get around his Preston. Oh, oh the no. Oh, quick up. Oh, 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 no, no. Dude, the attack speed's slow. What is oh, he saying? Yo. Was he... He must have been around the point. Yeah. We get the trigger and get stop it. Come on. Yeah. He was just going to kill himself on the tower. <laughs> All right, that's right. Force Major, what a great start to this game. He's got boots now. Okay, he just got like first blood in his lane. He went and yeah. killed the enemy mid, and then he killed the courier of the carry who's in his yeah. lane. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> what? Dude, no, stop. He's dead no, again. No, please, he's dead no. again. He's absolutely no, dead again. Oh, no. One more hit. Does he get the raid? Ooh. Yes, he does. Force Major. This guy's going to be a colonel pretty soon. Oh, he Get out of here. Him. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Force Major's having a hell of a good one. Somewhere Merlini's smiling. That's right. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Justice for my hero. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, well... The mid lane going significantly better this time around for uh, Pari Parni. Depressed Kid already 34 and 3 versus the 24 and 5 against what can only already be considered like a little bit of a tough matchup for Puck sometimes. Yeah, definitely a, uh, a counter pick hero where people are looking to, to take that uh, voice screen to the mid because like hard to contest and everything, and he's died. So yeah, it's pretty ridiculous that you're this far up. Yeah. Well. 
We'll have to keep our eyes up there and see what Zeus gets into. He's already going for Arcanes. You know, if he actually can play a little bit greedy here and get these Arcanes in time, this lane is going to be so rough for Pari Parni. I mean, it already is a little bit tough, but getting, uh, getting those boots would be huge. Yeah, it's kind of like... Uh... I, I believe it was the last series where Pierre was talking about Viper and he was just saying like Viper either has like a really really good lane or a really really bad lane and Ursa can kind of have the same situation where you're either dominating the lane and really crushing someone or something really weird happens at the start like a Zeus popping off and then imagine if they had these arcanes like they just decided to keep spamming right like right now there's a 1v1 of Ursa and Underlord and the Underlord doesn't care that's a bad sign oh, press kid in some trouble they have the jump, coil years, couple more punches. Force Major gets another kill here. But they did steal the regen rune away. That's something, but it still hurts. And all this is, again, just space for Underlord, right? Like, it, I really like teams that don't over punish a lane. Like, they're not, like, wasting all of his time just trying to shut down the Ursa. Like, he makes the rotation, he gets further gold, he knows the Arcanes, now he runs back at the Ursa after a jump as well. Like, they may not get this kill, but it's gonna be a stupid amount of damage. The raindrops really help him. Yeah, they need that. But again, that's all extra, like, you know, gold needed to try and keep him survivable. And Immersion gets turned on there. Big jump forward. Seneco with the Dispose, able to find it. And a couple more punches means Immersion will survive. But God, I mean, notice this level six. Monkushi's still level four. Yeah, they are. I think they're going to try and TP in here and take the tower, maybe. Well, look how aggressive that ward is. Monkushi's caught in trouble going to drop they pop the NPOP afterwards and a last touch will take down Monkushi so three deaths in the early goings here that was beautiful I love that setup so I was doing the same thing I was like did he just TP in it's like oh no he's just the ulti anyway like he didn't have to be here and now they bring the full numbers and pop five heroes okay pop regen though so full mana gonna be here there is a coil we need more heroes Lycan doesn't have six though so Lycan can't rotate and do anything so a coil won't amount to any kills. Hmm. Oh my That's still gosh. really good though. Unlucky, I guess. I mean, being able to stop this, this uh, push from happening, the, the catapult going down is pretty big. They needed that in a big way. Nico maybe thinking about something mid there on heaven, but not able to find a connection. But. Five to one. I mean, I will say that considering the state of the game last time, I was calling GG at this point last game. It's less than a thousand gold lead, five to one. Um, but Party Party are definitely in a better spot right here. Yeah. In trouble. Oh, dude, that illusion rune. I don't think he took the soul splitter blast damage, but still ends up going down. Yeah, and then simulate um, to try and get away at some point there. Can't quite get it. Press kit. He's fine. Oh my god. Unlucky. I mean, we use that coil for a while, so finally it's an opportunity. Gets to kill the enemy, made exactly what you want. They don't have the pressure that you might hope for, unfortunately. Uh, there's no creep here with the edge to try and like pressure or push it all. She can just like take a tree in if she wants. Yeah. Throw that thing at the tower. Nice. I can help Helmo, so she's ready for her as well. Oh, he is the troll too. So yeah, they, they could do some tower pushing. Okay. Zeus ulti, Monkushi again in trouble as Laurel made the move. Notice picks up that kill up top, so the Ursa continuing to struggle. And he actually has a Midas queued up after the phase boots. Yeah. yeah. Wow, they finally pick up one. That was needed. That's a good chunk of gold, too. I was waiting to see who was going to pop that pinata, you know. Whenever I'm a support, I, I start to feel that. I get a streak early. I'm like, uh oh. I'm, I'm just like the juiciest kill for somebody right now. Yeah. Look at Edge's uh, inventory right now. I didn't even see this. Five branches. <laughs> That's that's just value right there. That's right. You can't beat those stats. I like that. This is uh, previously the Bet Boom and Tundra Way, I think it was at the Major, that were just filling up their inventories with those stats early on. Get some pretty good value on a hero like Ench. A little excessive. Maybe a bit. I want to finish a wand or something. <laughs> 
He's breaking them down, you know? Got himself some treads. Absolutely. Looks like Radiant closed the blast that doors. Boom. You win. Five push together strat, it looks like, as four heroes are down bottom, and with the next catapult, they might bring in uh, one more afterwards. We'll see. Although, actually, it's a pretty good move from Party Party. They want to try and take this mid tower. I think yeah. they get it. And they definitely do. This is a favorable trade, um, for sure. That would be losing Kasha. Uh, but they don't really have the easiest ways to sell the like in this game, right? Like, no. the Atos into a Pit of Malice, maybe, uh, combined with all the damage. But it kind of feels like a game where you might want to Yules on the Void Spirit if you're trying to catch him. But he's rushing the Agnims instead. So, with Lycan's Quelling Blade to get the end of the Sprout, he's very survivable here. And that's a very good sign. They also have Emergent with 6 now, which they've been waiting for they can get the uh, the big curse kills. They do not want to make up here. Now, it's who they're going to find. And yeah. it looks like he will go down, but nothing else afterwards. I mean, they don't want to run him with the smoke, but at the same time, they also didn't pop the coil or anything, so it's just kind of okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's just hard to get a, another thing afterwards. Maybe could have looked for uh, another opening if they want to. I mean, they're going to have transformation soon uh, on Lycan, and then also the Helm of the Overlord and about a thousand more gold. That could be another sort of timing when Pari Parni try to make a move together. But you got to yeah, be thinking about I mean, Roche as well. Exactly, yeah. They're, they're going to rush the Helm of the Overlord, I think. It's what gives them the easiest, like, fast way to do the Roche. Very safe. Cover yourself with the Winner's Curse, and that Puma will have a hard time contesting that. Uh, they, I'm sure they'll be popping quite a bit of uh, ultis, just for the vision, to like, keep an eye on them, and scanning around the Roche pit, so they should have a good idea when it's happening, and the question will just be like, how much do you lose going for Roche, because you're versus a Nature's Prophet? A nice little window there, you saw Pasha's Courier gets killed, but Marcy actually unleashed to kill the Courier, um, and that had the Vlads on it, so... A nice little way to slow things down. Press good. Invase. Bots out Laurel, but doesn't have enough damage with just the puck, I think, to kill here. Oh, they can kill him now. Come on. Think about it. Go on in. Coil down. Tries to finish him. Will it be enough? Simulates back up again in a second. Notice. Makes the move over, but when they go and get him, it's fucking sexful. Oh my god. And they try to bring in the Lycan to stop this, but it's not going to happen. Wow. That hurts. Bottom tower is under attack. Man, I had to double check if he had raindrops or not. He just took so much damage so fast. The Nature's Prophet ult, he hit him for 270, and he gets zapped by the Zeus and the Void Spirit all, I think, in the same uh, just cooldown. It's like, I mean, obviously the same seven seconds. So yeah, you only got one proc to your raindrop, and Void Spirit barely living. That is so painful to see. They waited so long for that, and actually, right before they jumped, <laughs> Force Ranger almost popped the Zeus ult, because they knew. They knew something was up, right? Yeah. They're like, okay, they're not showing on the map, and he was kind of, like, hanging in the tower range. Now they're going to find themselves Pasha, and I said that they have a hard time killing him, but when you can lead with the root, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, and there's just nothing there afterwards. Wow. Um, what a big uh, swing of fortune Dyer's over the last couple of minutes. Things are looking better for Pari Parni, but Radiant's lose a couple of heroes. They will probably get this top tower with Dyer's the Ench just spamming out Seed Shot attack. and punching it. But, um, man, that boom. Doing it big. Dyer's top tower is under oh, attack. The there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ursa. It's like, yeah, we're not fighting anyways. I'm just going to farm up. Buy me time to glove. You know? Feeling good. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Wow. All right. Well, got to imagine that soon Pari Parni are going to want to go on in for that Roche if possible. They're just about to finish the Helm of the Overlord. First looking for a pickoff, though. Face Ball with that smoke if he heads into the pit. Kushi there. I mean, they Laurel. Killed Laurel. I mean, they've done the math on this, right? Uh, yeah, they're just trying to slow him down, force him out, make sure that they have access to the Roche Pit. Dude, what if he Thunder God's Wrath right as it comes out? Kills Zarsa with that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> no more bashes, you know? Right? No such luck. So, Monkushi will get the Aegis. Where's the bear? Starting to get bigger. Each and ice golems ready. Time to party. The greatest of griefs. 
You gotta love it. I mean, I kind of wish that the ice fire bomb was better. <laughs> I think it's kind of trash, personally, but... It's you know. 400 damage. I mean, yeah. 100%. It's like chasing and killing and calming with his other heroes. He waited um, for this longer build of going for the Agonims first. Just knowing this could take some longer, uh, a longer time to get online, but, you know, you don't really want to be like diving and fighting into the puck necessarily because then you're just hitting depressed kids by the timing when he just mm -hmm. wants you to sort of collapse into him. And uh, you know that the Ursa was so slowed down that I think he kind of saw that he had a window here. And the silence is ridiculously valuable. Like, if the next kid goes point next, his ags will be up before he's an uh, uh, off. Can't do it more. Naiko backs away. Has the jump to get to the low ground. Laurel's still chasing, but that is the shapeshift down. Bottom tower is under attack. So, a little bit of a window here. Atos. Immersion gets hit with the second one. Press kids right on top of him. Pulls it back into it. Well, afterwards, but notice. Takes a boatload of damage. Force Major will find the kill there on to the Wyvern, but it comes at a cost. Marky also will drop here. And that, that closeness to that Aghanim is for Laurel you're talking about. Uh, this is right before that window comes in. Yeah, it's got a lot of dead gold on him. Like, sure, it gives you some stats and everything, but obviously not a nice active uh, capability in <laughs> compared to something like the, the Witchblade damage he saw coming up from the puck there to help finish off that Mercy. Yeah, they barely got the kill on the Wyvern. Actually, almost surviving there, too, so that could have been quite a bit worse for Bet Boom. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not really um, healing like they're getting what they want out of this and for side of pari parney a lot of this off the back of just depressed kids like early power spikes that he's been hitting um you know he, he gets a couple more items here things are gonna start looking really good trying to get well, into I mean, the, the sanjakaya look at Mankushi. he's top of the yeah. board yeah that's incredible yeah i mean i know he went midas but like damn what, what? <laughs> what's happening with these heroes on befu where's the farm da hawk where are you at Shouldn't he be, mean, like, way up the game? They've been playing very together as, like, four or five. Um, and it feels like Pari Parni is already spreading out the map. By the way, it's very impressive. I mean, you know, they're, like, roving around to getting those kills and everything. And now suddenly, you know, the press kid's going to soul pick off on the Zeus there. Mm. I got Pasha playing in your jungle right now with the Black Dragon. That's ulti in another eight seconds. Well, and... I was quite why, kill loaded there. Why did that neutral item jump to depress? Oh, either way. Um, DOT from the Witchblade from far away. That's probably what it was. Really the, weird looking. Yeah, the creep probably jumped, uh, or the creep died from a punch Radius from him or something. Can they go? Also in trouble. Silence there, no dispose. Can they kill him off in the end? Winner's first. Okay. The press kid tries to get out, face shift, and then the jump away. Uh, but they do get Naiko. So a couple of supports taken down. And, you know, the Force Major kill, it was like 400 gold or something that went over the way of Seneko, or of uh, the press kid. Yeah. We're getting far. He, uh, he does have to worry about the axe now, though. It is going to cheer for Laurel. So it's flying out. Probably a smoke up coming. And they have a lot of global potential here. Maybe that is it. Maybe they've just gone a little bit too crazy on the global. Mm. I mean, they have a lot of cash. They have a lot of mobility. But what is the actual damage that they have? Perhaps that's partially why he wanted his Agonims. Yeah, that's true. That could be part of it. I mean, the other thing to watch for is we haven't seen, like, a good Underlord ulti, I feel like, this game. I don't know if we've even seen one Underlord ulti. Um, he came with that, that... Yeah. Gonna... This is... Two. Yep, so he'll have that. Yeah. Versus the Ursa to try and like deal with that as an issue. He's not just like gunned down. Could be good versus the Lycan too. Uh, other than the units, of course. <laughs> My team. Oh no, he's double That's silent. That's the impressive life, dude. <laughs> My team. All right, smile. Yeah. 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 I want to see if his uh, team gets in there after that death. Probably not, but heaven. In a little bit of trouble. Does have the deal going. Needs his attendance pulled back in. The round two spells should be enough to take down the old uh, Enchi. She died to a melee creep there, actually. Bit of a weird fight. Was, uh, yeah. With the pause and everything. I think everyone caught a little bit off guard there. 
uh, wearing off next will be the Aegis, though, as uh, we have reached Radiant the end of that in about 20 seconds. So we start to play for that next Roche in the game. The Shard, of course, those Ursa players, they sure love getting it. Oh, we can grab that. Very good this game. The extra, like, run around these fights and, like, trying to deal with the, uh, the, the, the Pit of Malice and Rage yeah. and everything. Good. Oh, like that noise feels good. Um, also really good against noise Zeus. Really helps. Yeah. <laughs> I think against the Zeus, it's pretty underrated too. Like the if you happen to get like the lightning bolt off as an enrage is going out, it just feels so bad. Oh, yeah. um, picking off the heavenly jump as well. But getting together on Bet Boom now, looking for wards, ready to smoke. Oh, that blink dagger! It's so close for immersion. Go farm, quick! They're coming. The Bet Boom are coming. The Bet Boom are coming. I think they're gonna kill Pasha here. Oh, maybe they'll run into it. Evan is calling here. That is not the uh, kill they're hoping for. And yeah, I, don't, I don't think the British zapped him either in the, the real version. No. He's flying a kite with a key, right? That's how that yeah, went? Yeah, that's, that's how I remember, yeah. Yeah. Silence. A little miss there, but round two silence doesn't have it. The Hawk can't quite get there onto the press kit, and instead Coil's gonna jump away. And then the Coil is going to pop the enrage. Ow! They got some things going on here, Mongoose dead. I think he might be, damn. That was really well done. Seneko. Practicing oh God, it, it the Marcy. It's like bullfighting. It's just like, Toro, yeah. Toro, over here! <laughs> and he, he looked like a troll who pressed alt. He, he just keeps clicking the nearest thing to him, and it's all he can do. Yeah, a move. Well, this might be a tier 2 tower taken by Bethel. We'll, uh, we'll see here in just a moment. But kind of a, uh, a big turn there with that fight. The worst part about this for a party party would be if they lose this tier two tower at a time when Roche isn't available. At the very least, you're hoping to threaten Roche all the time so that it's scary for the enemy team to be down here and contesting and waiting a long time to take this tower. But even with the glyph, they can't get through it. And yeah, that's it. Bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is So outpost taken now, and nothing else gained on the rest of the map. Party party are going to need to. Uh, Come up with some answers here. I mean, they have that blink on immersion, like you talked about. They're going to smoke up with four. Ursa a little bit behind, wanting to get that Midas usage, but the shape shift. They go jumped on. Also in the mid, Laurel dissimilates away. They might get Sineko here, but I don't think they get anything else. Wow. Good dodge. That is painful. Yeah, that one hurts. Silence on silence. Afterwards, has to get out and will jaunt away. Press kid almost gets caught by that second silence. Laro getting a little bit cute. But good right, reaction by the puck. Give me a rotation. time. Get seven seconds. Uh, I will say 58. 15 oh, seconds. 58, 121. You price is right. Me. Oh, it's quick. <laughs> 12 seconds. That's very good for Party Party. Wow. Um, do they have, I mean, they don't have shape shift though. Oh, they're going to see it. Yeah. They're going to poke their little heads in here on Bet Boom. Just a little peek. Just take a little peek. Oh, yep. oh Roche is up, guys. Up. Hmm. They thought about right. it. They're thinking about Does it. Does Emergent blink out? Up. How fast is he? Quick. Oh, he can't blink. Can't blink Zeus is pretty good for that. <laughs> Just like that. They get a free opening for Roche, and they're not going to think that this is up yet. Oh, man, that hurts. They have to respect the possibility that Makuji just think it. He's like, you know, they could be Roche guys. Mm, shoot, shift back up in 14. They have a ward on the pillar. Yeah, they know they're in there. Oh, uh, okay. They're ready to go on in. Sending out the Treants to scout. <laughs> they're just going to give it up with no Wyvern. They don't feel confident going in. Oh man, that that one hurts. Wait a minute. They're leaving. Wait a minute. Okay, dragon's coming. Dragon's coming. 
Now are they going to be able to take it themselves? Option just right in there. Root is down. That film wants to go in and contest this one. It's a little bit scary. Earths are ready to jump as well. And they have one. Catching the press kit. The walk in. Notice the first half. Aegis is down. And notice the edge of the Aegis. Mancucci did get the charge though. The Earths can't jump out of the pit. But we'll take it now. The Underlord. Round two though. It's not going to look as good for Mancucci. Get saved for a moment. Meanwhile, the coil. With the Hopkins standing tall. Trying to bring down the rest of Pacha. Turned on to the edge. Just throwing those rainbows. It kills off absolutely everybody. The only people left alive were the Zeus and the Underlord, but how much damage that Edge did. Yeah, the unsuspecting hero of this engagement, Enchantress, getting in there. She had the most damage of her team, 3,062. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And uh, tough stuff there from Immersion, actually. Um, hard to, to find a blink. He's, you know, he's getting hit by the Zeus. He's getting hit by the Nature's Problem. That's why that curse was just a little bit late. It's actually to walk instead of blink. To, uh, to get the Underlords. That's why he managed to snag the Aegis in time. But still a good recovery in that engagement. And also a couple mistakes there from Dahawk, I noticed. Because obviously he's just like control clicking all his units, but he had two treants on Immersion. That he could have mm. just like clicked on Immersion and then that fight gets way harder. But he right. was you know, busy on other stuff too. So I mean, that's what's great about Nature's Profit, right? You can always improve your play. Right. And now, I mean, they're in a uh, a little bit of a tough one. I mean, again, it's not a huge lead, it feels like. The big thing is having that shard on Ursa, and, like, he is very farmed. Um, has the BKB completed going next for the Blink Dagger? We're going to have to see if we get some more Force Staffs or something out coming out from Bet Boom to help deal with that Ursa later. Yeah, plus the uh, potential Force Staffs uh, versus the Voice here as well. He's going to have the Yules into the Aether Remnant soon, and that can be a serious problem for Depressed. If he is far away from the BKB that he's opting for, I think the one solution he can go for versus that combo. But, uh, oh, he's also under a ward right now, but no one else is coming down here. He, uh, yeah, pretty far away. So, potential to just be like, killed by a single Yule from Voice here at this point. Yeah. yeah. has to watch out for that one. And... There are multiple BKBs that are coming out and online now. Um, also, Zeus is getting close to an Aghanim Scepter, so they'll have Nimbus also, uh, which can obviously be soaked up a lot of damage by the, the Lycan uh, summons, but likewise, nice way to just cancel those TPs. Be very annoying to deal with. Cool. So, 6,000 gold lead. Pari Parni, they're not going out without a fight. Are you a believer is... now? I, I... Uh... He can't. Nothing they can do can convince him. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel the same way. It's sort of... It's a tough one. It's, it's a very much a tough one. But maybe. But, like, look at this bottom, right? How do they deal with this? They have to send, like, Puck back. And he kind of needs bots. And they're, like, the Tier 3 tower is almost dead. It feels like Ray Bernie had, like, flashes of, like... The, the fight goes well from them, but the stuff in between doesn't. You know, yeah, like the lane pressure, the tower pushing, the actual objectives. They get little things right, but the grand scheme seems to be moving in the way that Bepoom wants things to. But right. then you have something like Heaven popping off in that last fight. You know, he has the Hurricane Pike. He's going for a Witchblade next. He will have serious damage. And typically, this is a game that looks pretty hard, I would say, for an edge. Because there's like a right. lot of magic damage. And like, do some, like being rude to their something by the Underlord. But if you can find that spacing, she does a crazy amount of damage though. Yeah, and that that is something to be considering as well. It's like that, you know, a, a lot of the things that I, was, that I think we're both thinking about for how this team, uh, how this game goes, is uh, our thoughts are about an edge that's not scaling, and it definitely feels like she is. Um, and this this could start to get uh, pretty ugly if they're not careful. If the edge is just left unaddressed, so they're probably going to focus her the next time. I would imagine. Aghanim Scepter now done. Double bounty rune for Snako. Okay, okay. That is a big deal, though. The, uh, the Zeus egg. This is kind of where support Zeus like really peaks, I would say. You don't generally get into the refresher. It's not very easily uh, on this hero in this role. So he's kind of hit his like I'm prepared team. And whoa, that's not a BKB depressed kid. Whoa, what are you doing? I mean, I'm not. Dagon. I'm not mad. I like it. This is the kind of attitude I want to see. Dagon time. Let's go. Wow, okay. He is really going in with a ceremonial robe with his Kai and Sanji just saying, like, they better kill me. 
Because if they don't, I'm, I'm zapping. I feel like this is just to find that Zeus almost, you know? Like, if he catches Force Majora, I think that he dies to the full combo. Pretty quickly, at least. So he can't afford to find it. out here. Oh, he's underneath the ward. They see it. He's going to try and de-ward. De this is a dead guy. This is definitely a dead guy. Oh, no, the Yay, no! That's fine. He's got the uh, Philosopher's Stone. Bottom tower is under attack. Good zap, good zap. Okay, Seneca. Oh! You can? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, yeah, Sonico's dead. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know that's what you meant. Yep. Oh, Laurel. Oh, no. How does this happen? Hold on. Wait a minute. They de-ward, Zeus dies, and then two more die afterwards. You're very soon. It's getting a little sloppy. That's a good point. They just took a whole set of racks. Oh, my God. All right. Get there. Kill the courier. Come on. Get a little bit uh, sloppy here as we get towards the later stages. See, this is what I mean. This, that literally showcases exactly what we're talking about. They win a fight, and yet somehow this rack yeah. just gets destroyed by Dahak. Dahak carry. Dahak God. Dahak God. Dahak God. Dahak God. Dahak God. This man is going to keep on causing a lot of issues in this right. game for them. And... Impetus does do bonus damage to, to creeps now, so that's a, a nice way. Maybe we'll see a uh, Academus coming out later for Heaven. Get some Sprinkin. I would love to see some uh, I got it. I think the eggs I picked up in one game that I was watching it. I mean, that wasn't the scary edge. Uh, it was, you know, a normal game. And uh, he didn't use it the whole time, of course. So game oh, no. It's a nice way to help, like, your wave clear, you know? Throw out the triple impetus. It's also just very satisfying. That's true. You know what's satisfying? Uh, TPing in and spreading a uh, helm of the Overlord and just killing it like you just did there. Causing his hand over a nice little bounty. Oh, really? Yeah. That's really he's good. Just sprouting it and killing it. I mean, it was only the ice golem, so it's okay. Now they have the rock. Silence on silence. They find a press kit, tries to get out. The Hawk thought about TPing in, but doesn't go oh for it. God. And God, Unlucky, Heaven just keeps yeah, on getting farmed, dude. He, he's getting a lot of gold on this the edge. Wolves. They're scouting. He's almost ahead of Laurel in terms of farm. They kill the Ancient Granite Golem. Ah, messes, catches on the wolf instead. Yeah, and she's huge. All right. I mean, I guess it's really just Laurel's hurting. We got 16 up. seconds here. Give me your, your guess. Give me your roast long guess. Um, let's go 12 seconds again. Back to that back. Be, that's insane. Now I'm going with two minutes and 47 <laughs> seconds. Oh my god, a late one. Big one. Oh wait, let's see it. And the timer is 144. Split the difference. I'm closer though, so I win. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that. It's not even true, is it? Wasn't I closer? <laughs> I just gotta speak with confidence, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. Huck did go back for the BKB, by the way. So opting just for the dig on level two and after the danger <laughs> okay. that happened. I like it. I'm not sure about the level two. It's an expensive upgrade, but that's all right. I mean, he's gonna go back for the rest now anyway, so it's fine. But yeah, uh, with the winds down bottom going to the, the BKB is very solid. Probably saw how close he was to dying if Makushi wasn't there to blow them up. I'm like, yeah, okay. Ah, uh -huh. oh, sweet, what's you level 23? Hmm. So, BKB on Underlord and Nature's Prophet, not gonna help you. Silence. Whoa, good vision there. Chased after the press get forced to pop that BKB to the air. The Hawk finds one of the birds and try to blow him up. They will get it. The Hawk, though, is absolutely eviscerated by the Ursa. Buyback right. coming from Marcy and the Wyvern. And the right right. I'm a believer. Wait. Turn. Jumps back in. Round two. Where's the target, though? They don't have a good one. Buyback now from SD. They're ready to go. Round two. Notice. Find the back line. Hard. 
how much gold? He has 7,100 gold! <laughs> oh my god! He got 2,000 gold from that fight. He's so oh, wow. He has 6,500 experience. <laughs> Holy! Alright, who boy. bought back? Nature's pro Wait. Yeah, Nature's dude, Prophet, Mercy, dude. and Wyvern all Radiance bought back. Oh, here's the, re the replay here, too. Oh, oh, man. That's nice. That split up was really good because this fight was going extremely well, but then the buyback oh from Prophet comes on the left hand side there. That was sick. That curse was good, though. And man, uh, what is heaven here, too? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, your base. I mean, they're all dead, so. How much they can do about it? And and you know you're you're talking about that. The other he has 350 bonus damage right now, and they're still dead for a while. I think this is a second tier two tower, dude. I like how he just saunters, dude. Like he's, he's so slow. Yo, look at this building drop. He's they're dead for a while. This is definitely gone. Oh my god. Radiance middle tower. Big boy, Big boy underlord. All right, so now he has a scythe and still 2,500 gold. He's got 300 gold surplus and we all buy back, so he's fine on that ground. Is anyone else filthy, stinking rich? Uh, Lyra is. All right, now oh, that's yeah. a tough one. Do you buy BKB even though Puck's supposed to be 25? Ooh, I feel like you got to, to like, just survive all the damage. Well, but what you else know? is there? Yeah. Like, honestly, like, I'm thinking the same thing, where, like, I know I would buy this BKB, but the more I look at it, I'm just like... <laughs> oh, it feels bad. Ah. Yeah, it feels really bad. Just don't get coiled, I guess, is the key, right? Right. Maybe Aeon Disc or something, but even that's not great. Yeah. They're going into Roche. Refresher. I, I guess it does save you from Ent, right? Because she has no way to get to the BKB. So that's kind of solid. Notice. Throws it out. Hit down. They're taking it quick, though. They're not going to get it this time. They were all there, but they just take it far too fast to find money. Now, notice. He's in trouble. Chris to pop the BKB. Got to run, but the winner's curse keeping control. Vision is in the advantage of that boom. Notice. He's going to try and get himself out of there. Does not get caught by the coil. Unlucky, I guess. So, notice gets back home. Do they want to go in for another round now that he warded? Hari Parney, making something out of nothing. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Got the enrage off. On Kuchi. They come back in with another. Winner's curse still on cooldown. Hold it, brace Monkuchi. That is, this is a lot of magic damage. I don't know if that was the play. Forced to pop the enrage and run out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but he has ages and he's refreshers there too, so. He is a frightening bear. I want to go for a fight again now with the smoke. Dyer's top oh, tower leveler. has fallen. Leveler is the, uh, I think the highest impact neutral item, right? Across all tiers. Not really? Mistaken. Well, I think, okay, well, there, there are tier fives as well, but that data is so wonky because we don't, we don't hit it that often. But yeah. I believe when Nocturne last puts the stats, in terms of, like, the most, you know, winning his item or whatever, it is the leveler, which sort of makes sense because a lot of times in these games, in this patch, it feels like... It's just that one fight, and you just go for the GG, and level it can really help with that, cleaning up the objectives. That makes sense. I like that. Ooh, you know what I just thought about, too? Later on, Lycan getting an Aghanim to add onto Ursa? That sounds really cool. Well, it would be good, but he doesn't have that new um, Ursa set that makes him look like Lycan. So you can't actually use the good fight. Got it. I yeah. understand. That makes it just, sense. It just takes you to the store page when you try and use it. <laughs> just like pops up a window. You can't control your hero anymore. Well, Heaven has also got the Moon Shard completed now. So, Hurricane Pike, Moon Shard, and sh is no joke. Um, Zeus, Glimmer afterwards, he's going back for the Refresher next. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that's going to be like game-changing coming out. I guess the uh, Wind Waker eventually for Void Spirit. That's what he decides oh, to go huge. for. That's a good answer for the coil. That's a great choice, yes. That is actually perfect. That gives him so much survivability. Yeah. And he still isn't 25 yet. I mean, with the pace the rest of it was going, I thought you'd have it by now, but not really uh, finished good a lot of these last fights. Certainly wouldn't have expected Underlord to be uh, further ahead in experience, but that is what happened. He's on pace to hit 25 first. I wonder if he goes to the Atrophy Ally bonus. Oh! Buddy. All right. That's big deeps. Listen, the last time this was in effect, though, it is really funky and weird the way that it works. Wait. Um, what about Curse, though? Won't he, like, kill his whole team? 
So, no. Yes. Yes, he will. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you know, it's not like you just stop buying damage at him versus Wyvern, but still. Right. So the way that this works is that when he is nearby his allies, they gain the aura, but they don't gain Underlord's damage. They just get the aura themselves. Because the way it used to work is that if, like, Underlord had, like, 300 damage or something with the old, old Ags, he would just give his entire team 300 damage. But now they have to build it themselves. Um, so it's a little bit less good, but it's still very strong. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. So Why like, does it work if, like that? I don't know. That's the way it's, it works. He, he basically, he gives them the aura, but they don't get the damage because the, the damage is tied to the individual hero. Oh, so, that's so weird. But you get it while you're around him. Yes. No, but, so like, but like he's, oh yeah, so he's giving Sineko damage right now as he kills those creeps. Right. Well, he's giving, yeah, exactly. Seneko gets uh, that damage, but you see, like, the Hawk has 24 and Seneko has 56. That's because Seneko's been closer to him. Wow, but okay. It, all right, it, now I know. It, if they're all in a 5-on-5, five five, it won't really matter. They're all going to get a ton of damage. Yeah, I didn't really see that. Underneath the war, or notice, big jump forward, big damage. Oh, you guys got to get the heck out of here. Everybody's going to be hitting so hard. Seneko in some trouble. Mankushi turned around upon. Notice he's going to drop, though. The bear man's a little bit stronger. Seneko tries to rebound his way out. Will escape. The hawk trying to stand tall. Will drop down the ground, but it's not enough. Silence afterwards. The hawk, the sidekick. Isn't it enough? It would be. He gets all the heal from the satanic and the sidekick, and now turning, looking for Laurel. There's no buyback on two of those heroes. Chased down by Pasha. Needs to move back in there. Can he leave? He's trying to get out. Can he escape? They will manage to. They have lost so much. And no, he won't. Look at the hex off. Oh, my God. Too much. Holy ass. Miss. <laughs> Dude. He's a little bit upset about that one. The old miss buyback. Yes. back. That buyback was so good for notice, though. He, he buys back and he keeps straightening all that fight. Comes in with a scythe, comes with root. Obviously, his uh, aura is going that whole time there, too. He just did everything to ruin Mankuchi's time. Radiant Middle Tower is under attack. Unreal. Radiant Middle Tower. And now, faith in that boom was not misplaced. <laughs> they're, they're still very good. There's a winner's curse here available. Gotta be attack. careful. Immersion waiting for the moment. But they're not giving it to him. Radiant structures are fireproof. Hawk. Radiant Middle Barracks. They want to keep attack. this last rack alive. They also don't want to buy back on the Earth if they don't have to. Come on. Do they go for this? Blink, Winner's Curse, but the Blink for Seneko. Is it going to be enough damage to kill the Hawk? I don't think so. They tried everything that they could, but it wasn't enough. Wyvern dead. Oh, that damage, though. They're trying desperately. Couple punches from downtown. Can they get him? They're going to run into this little Venn diagram. They toss him into it. Oh, good play by Seneko. No buyback on the edge. Now they find Pasha with the buyback from Ursa Bedroom. Going to respect that potential danger and get out of town. Man, Seneko, such a nuisance throughout this. I love the way he's using the dispos with the uh, the Nimbus, like throwing people into it, and then he's also just running in and rebounding his allies and jumping back out so that they have the the movement speed during the middle of these fights. Also, a voice here with plus two hundred voice so it's kind of scary and salty. Lift up, this guy doesn't have buyback. Mokushi forced to pop that BKB. Tries to run away the leash. Where's the jump out? Where's the battle fury? She knew the whole time. This is the problem. They <laughs> take down the Ursa. Ursa is going to fall. No ability to break those trees. I get the leveler. It's time. Tier 4s are going to fall, and I think that this is just about going to do it, barring a miracle. Oh, uh, the press kid trying so hard just to stop this pressure, but there are creeps coming into the base. You can't kill them all. Coil used, but the inevitability of the Hawk hitting your Ancient, and GG is going to be called a 2